So hello everyone. This is my first time doing a vlog of sorts before I go swim. Um, you've probably all seen this already, but this is my new Goldeen Tail from Pokemon. Um, I am a cosplayer on the side, so this was an inspiration between myself and another cosplayer so I called Just Cause, and she is also another mermaid, or becoming mermaid. Um, so today, hi. I will be swimming with a wig. I've never done it before. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to go, so I might have to take it off halfway through. Um, there are a bunch of bobby pins holding it together, but unfortunately I don't have a headband or anything like that. Um, so we're just going to try it out and see what happens. Um, this is the look we're going for. And I'm just going to have this set up on the side, because I don't have a tripod yet. And um, we'll just see if I can get some good footage. I'm just going to swim around and then hang out with Courtney and the Mermaid later, who is also working on a fabulous video for me of my first swim in this tale. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys! So I just got done with my first swim with my wig. Um, I've never actually swum in a wig before and it was a really interesting experience. If you do plan to do it, plan ahead. Um, I had to use a bunch of bobby pins in order to get it to feel like it was being secure enough in order to swim in. There was a little bit of drag, like you would expect. Um, in the front, it would pull back, so keep that in mind. Um, as for how I secured it, I used um, bobby pins, lots and lots of bobby pins. Um, these ones in particular, uh, the lighting in here is kind of weird because I'm in a sauna right now. Um, they're red. They're red. I got them from uh, Mithril Wigs. I will link them in the description below. Um, they come in a whole bunch of different colors. I don't know if she has them yet or if she's getting them very soon, but they'll come in like red and yellow and orange and blue and purple and pink and that sort of thing. Um, they go really well with wigs instead of the normal like black or gold or bronze or silver that you can usually find maybe white if you're lucky. But uh, with the colored ones, it hides in the wig really well. So even though it's not quite the right color, it blends in so much better than if it was like black or silver. Um, so I put two on the side here, two on the side here, two in the front, two on the top, and two in the back. And it seems to have pulled, held up really well. Um, I didn't have to do too many adjustments other than the pulling forward that you typically have to do, but even then it didn't want to move too far, which meant I had pivoted in properly. And I was really happy with that. Um, I had tried to use spirit gum, and I will use spirit gum in the future just to try it out, um, but my spirit gum <laughs> had spirit gummed itself to the lid, and I couldn't find my needle nose pliers, and I really didn't want to break it open and have a big disgusting mess, which is what I probably would have happened. Um, so yeah, I will be using spirit gum in the future. Um, bobby pins for sure are a must-have when you're going to wear a wig in the water. Um, as for the wig that I wore, it's a really chibi eBay wig. Um, I will try to find the description and post it below. <laughs> it's, it's actually got a lot of volume, so when you're swimming with this one, um, I found that it likes to float up like normal mermaid hair, um, which was really fantastic for the footage that I got. And it wasn't like thin anywhere, so, and because the lighting in the water is a little different than on land, even though it would pull up, you still couldn't really tell that my real hair was there. It looked like my hair, which was really nice. Um, I will be swimming in more wigs. This one is going to be solely for the golden tail because it matches so well. Um, for the blue tail, I have another wig in mind. I want to try a mithril wig in the water because they are a Canadian-based company. And I kind of want to support Canada because I live in Canada. <laughs> um, and then for my secret tail, which will be coming out very soon, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep my hair or wear a wig for that one. I might switch it up with that one because that's going to be my main tip. Um, yeah, and uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you let me know if you like this wig or if you prefer if I swim in my real hair because then I'll just switch to either or. Or I can try out a whole bunch of different wigs and swim in those and let you know how they look. Um, thanks for tuning in, <laughs> and uh, I wish you guys all the best. Talk to you later. Bye!